just wanted a place that we could come to, um, maybe a home because we live in Australia. And the most important thing too was to have a big table for the whole family to come down and, uh, and be with us. Two extra chairs on it. Yeah. We love our water sports, so we love to canoe and kayak and, and hydrofoil and all and that sort of stuff. We also like to fish off the deck. <laughs> Have you caught anything yet? Just caught one small fish. <laughs> Definitely not as big as Australia. The Matabanic has been in the family for 102 years. We celebrated our centennial two years ago. It's all about family here, and um, most of our guests have been coming up for many years. I, I didn't see the full picture, Gordon did. And so I just leaned on him with, um, with the building and all of the decisions and, uh, and things that were involved. And um, he had the vision and I just followed him and knew that everything would be okay. But it's, it's beyond what I, what I thought and uh, we're, we're really happy. It's, it's a beautiful place. It's a home. It's more than just a cottage. So we call it the beach house. Fabulous, very accommodating. Halfway across the world, you know, um, where, where they're showing us different colors and samples. And, and a 12 hour time difference. 12 so. hour time difference. We'd be, Mike would be having his coffee and I'd be trying to get these guys to go in the bathtub yeah. before bedtime. It's all been great. Wonderful. I think it was really touching, as you can tell from what they were previously saying, that this property has been in the family for a really long time. So it was so nice to be able to take what they envisioned to a reality that they can enjoy now year round. Like she was saying, they were here at Christmas and it was one of the first times they could actually be here in the winter time, which was so nice to hear as well. So it was a lot of fun to work with them. Probably being able to wake up and then go straight to the hydrofoil. Oh yes. Or wake up and be able to see the whole lake. I love being able to, if I'm in the kitchen, to just look out and see the water. I don't feel like I'm stuck there. I feel like I'm, I'm on the beach if I'm cooking. A couple weeks ago, there was no, um, there was no rock. Yeah. It was so, uh, the water was so high.
place, but we had no idea that it was that deep. Dad reckoned it was about 10 feet, but then it went to 40. I remember waking up in Australia one morning. Ah, uh, we're don't going a little bit deeper than 10. <laughs> we say we can do that. Yeah, that was an adventure and um, we just went with, with the process. We knew with the elevations here and how wet the ground was and the difference of heights between the high water mark and the main floor that we had to put it on the screw piles and it was easy to uh, get done. Well, I think it would made it special is that it really shows what Royal can do from large residential homes or cottages and uh, commercial cabins.